Okay, my name is Jonas Chiano. I'm a principal agricultural economist at the African Development Bank. Incidentally, I was the tax manager that led the development of the Sari SV project. And it was supposed to be a five-year project, and actually it has been implemented in five years. And looking at the impact it has created, we are pleased as an organization. Because when we developed Afri uh, this SAD SC, we had three main components. Component one is technology generation. Component two is technology dissemination. And component three is capacity building. Those three components have been well implemented. A lot of technologies have been generated. A lot of dissemination activities have taken place. And also, a lot of capacities have been built. Several PhDs, several master's degrees, and also several PSCs. So we are pleased. The most important thing is that there has been some transformation on the ground, especially with respect to what will help to reduce drudgery among the farmers, especially women. The rice commodity is just one of the four commodities targeted in the South SC project. The others are wheat, cassava, and maize. But with respect to the rice commodity, we are actually very pleased with the number of varieties of rice that have been released. And when it comes to technologies developed, we are pleased with the gem, parboiling technology. We are also pleased with the different types of weeding technologies and also the other technologies like the rice advice that helps the farmers to optimize the use of their land by actually knowing the missing nutrient elements, which if you provide, helps to increase productivity. And we have seen the tremendous effect of good agricultural practices that have been able to increase production of productivity of rice from two tons per hectare to as high as eight tons per hectare is amazing. The future is for us to now uh, take some of these things we have seen under the South SC to the next level and that will be to widely disseminate, working with politicians and the policy makers to come up with policies that will facilitate the movement of all those technologies to start having impact on the field and at farm level.